Okay, guys. Okay. So construct BST from pre-order, right? So guys, in this question, we have we have an array of a pre-order traversal of some BST. And what we need to do is we need to construct that BST from this uh, pre-order traversal, right? Fine. So how we will solve this question? I think before solving this question, let's just quickly recall what is a BST and what is a pre-order traversal. Fine. So let me let me take a simple example. Let me draw a tree here. Okay, guys. Okay. So let's just see this this simple simple binary tree. Now, what is what is the pre-order traversal? So suppose if we if we want to uh, traverse over this binary tree in pre-order fashion, then how we will do this? So what we will do in pre-order? What we will do in pre-order? We will uh, first print or take our root. Then we will solve. Then we will solve left left subtree left subtree then we will solve right subtree right t okay so if if this is our root then what we will do we will print this and then we will try to calculate our pre order traversal for this left subtree then after calculating after calculating the pre-order traversal of its left subtree then we will jump to find the pre-order traversal of its right subtree right so first we will solve its left subtree then we will find the pre-order traversal of its right subtree this is how we will traverse over any any binary tree in pre-order fashion right okay okay cool so now now we have already printed eight now what we will do we will consider this this node as our root node so now what we will do we will print we will print wait we will print this three then what we will say we will first print its left subtree then we will print its right subtree right wait. then we will print its right subtree okay cool now what we will do we will jump over this this node number one and what we will do we will print this node number one here fine now since it's a leaf node its left subtree is null and its right is also null so we'll return from this node we already traverse over this now we have traversed we have printed this left subtree now the turn is for this its right subtree right so we'll print six we'll print six right so we have we have successfully traversed over the left subtree of node number eight now the turn is for its right subtree so what we will do we will fix this first we will come to this then this then this now we'll treat this node number 10 as a root node then we'll print this 10 and try to calculate answer for its left subtree right so this is null so we'll do nothing we will return from this now it will print this this 14 right and since it's left and right are null so we'll return from this return from this and we have successfully printed see its pre-order pre-order traverse right so this is its pre-order traversal so this is how we'll traverse over any any binary tree in in pre-order in pre-order traversal right okay now let me clear this okay so now i'm sure you guys uh, now know that how we will traverse over a binary tree in pre-order fashion but we'll, but we'll do we'll print its root then try to solve the pre-order uh, traversal for its left subtree then after solving the pre-order traversal of its left subtree will come to its right subtree right so this is point number one so if you if you if you see it carefully this binary tree is not a simple binary tree this binary tree is bst how can i say this see what is the property of BST? Property of BST is see this. If this is my root root node, if this is my root node, then all the values of my left subtree must be less or equal to me. I mean this root node. And all the values, all the values of my right subtree, right subtree must be greater or equal to me i mean this node and this property this property must be satisfied for all the nodes of my tree 
if this property is satisfied then i can say that this simple binary tree is not a simple binary tree this is a bst right so these two things these two things i think you should you should need to keep in your mind while solving this problem now how we will solve this problem wait so so see uh, we need to construct a bst from this right so what we will do uh, see if it is a pre order traversal then first node first node must be root node okay so if first node is a root node then 20 is my root node cool now some of the nodes must lie on its left side and some must lie on its right side but how i will find which node will lie on its left and which node will lie on its right so for this i'll use I use this BST property. What is the BST property? All the nodes which are uh, lesser than me must lie on its my on my left subtree, and all the nodes which are greater than or equal to me must lie on my right right subtree in my right subtree, right? So if twenty is the if twenty is the root node, if twenty is the root node, then all the values which are lesser than twenty must lie on my left subtree, right? So so this is 16 which is less than 20 okay 5 is less than 20 okay 18 is less than 20 okay 17 is less than 20 and 19 is less than 20 but is 60 is less than 20 no so we'll stop here and we'll say hey this this portion this portion will lie on my left side right cool so 16 5 18 17 and 19 will lie on my left side and remaining one will lie on my uh, right side you can also see that all the values after this i mean including this will be greater than greater than 20 right so here it should be 60 85 and 17 cool now now as you guys can see here what we have done is we have divided our big problem to a smaller problem right so now we'll do the same step for this smaller problem and this smaller problem right so this is our root now what we will do we we'll consider 16 as my root node because we are we are first calculating its left subtree right so we'll consider 16 as my root node and all the values all the values which are which are lesser than 60 will lie on the left side and all the values which are greater than 16 will lie on the right side fine so only 5 is the value which will which will lie on its left side so 5 will come here and remaining one will lie on its right side so 18 17 and 19 fine so since there is only one one a node is there so we'll construct this and try to solve for this okay so this is 18 so we'll consider 18 as my root node and all the values which are less than 18 will lie on its left side and all the values which are greater than 18 will lie on its right side so 17 is lesser than 18 so 17 will come here and 19 will go here and all the nodes are uh, the root node so we'll construct it and we'll try to solve we have successfully constructed or traversed you can say on its left side now it's uh, now the turn is for its right side right so we'll consider 60 as a root node and all the values which are lesser than 60 will lie on its left side and all the values which are greater than 60 will lie on, will, will lie on its right side so 85 is greater than 60 and 70 is greater than 60 so there is no value will lie on its left side so here it should be null okay so now we'll solve for 85 and 70 so we'll consider 85 as our as our root node and all the values which are left uh, lesser than 85 will lie on its left and greater than this will lie on its right so 70 is lesser than 85 so 70 will come here and since it's the last node we will construct it and we'll return from this we'll return from this return from this return from this and as you guys can see here we have successfully constructed our bst from a pre-order traversal so our tree is looking like this see 20 on its left we have 16 and then 5 
then 18 then 17 19 60 85 and then here it is 70 and see see we have successfully constructed bst from its pre-order traversal so i hope i hope the approach is clear to you now now let me share the code of this problem okay guys so we will understand we will understand the code of this problem using using this example with this example I means right so uh, what we have is we have this array as a pre-order traversal of some bst and what we need to do we need to construct a bst from this from this array right fine so what we will do we will create a helper function to help us to construct this bst so what we will pass in this helper function we will pass this array and something called root index and something called write index so what what these indexes are these indexes are nothing but the pointers which will help us to divide our bigger problem to a smaller problem right okay so initially so see uh whatever be the value uh, present at root index will be our our root node what i mean to say is see initially let me also give them indexes 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay so initially our root index is this and right index is 6 that is out of our array fine so what i what i told you that whatever be the value present at the root index must be our root right so see initially 8 must be our root right so we'll construct a node which has value equal to 8 which is nothing but the value presented to the root index now we will divide our bigger problem to a smaller problem so how we will divide this we will, divide, we will find which nodes are lesser than this 8 for this for this what we will do we will uh, use this while loop and start incrementing uh, our i index fine so initially my i is this now i will increment it and check is 3 is greater than 8 no 3 is not greater than 8 fine so is is 1 is greater than 8 no is 6 is greater than 8? No. Is 10 is greater than 8? Yes. So my i will come here. My i will come here. Now I can say that this value, this value must lie on my left side and this value must lie on my right side. So what I need to do is root dot left will solve for 318, 316 and root dot right, root dot right will solve for 10 and 14, right? Cool. So, so how we are dividing this? Initially, my root index is this. So, for this smaller problem, what should be the root index? Root index must be this, which is nothing but the root index, previous root index plus 1. So, this is what we are passing here. Previous root index plus 1. And what must be the stopping index? Stopping index must be, I mean the right, right index. Right index must be this i, right? So, for this, this i must be the right index. So, that's why we are passing this i here for its left side. And for right, we can say that this should be the root index we should start calculate we should consider this as our root node so that's why this is our root index so for this root index must be i and right will remain the same for this case fine so similarly recursively we will do the same uh, same steps and we will construct a tree like this with this approach one six then we'll construct its right sub tree ten and then forty and then we'll return this root here right so i hope the approach is clear and the code is clear to you guys thank you so much for watching